Now that we've gotten through all I know. that. Kim, take note of what she's wearing. Wear that next time she's on the show. Try to match ahead of time. You know, when you look at your, your sort of resume of what you've done, it's remarkable the shows that you have been on, the successes that you've had. The ones that we've mentioned not only, but then, you know, there was um, According to Jim and Two and a Half Men and all those. And you kind of exited those on your terms when you wanted to. Uh, with that, did you ever leave those shows going, did I make the right decision? Should I not? Do I, you know, because in this business it can be fleeting. Yeah, yeah I mean, I and honestly. You still just had so much So confidence. much of it is out of our hands as actors, yeah. and I just followed my gut. I just thought it's, it's time to go. I don't know why, and I had faith that whatever was next was going to be the right thing. It's not that right. I said, I'm going to do this, then this, then this. You yeah. have to walk away from something and leave a door open and hope for the best. So it's an extraordinary amount of luck. It yeah. really is. But some people stand, they well. just pulled the show away and they're just like, oh, well, we did right. the run of the show and it was gone. But you made, I just found that so remarkable. And, I mean, you and struck lightning like six times. You yeah. know, people I, say no, lightning strikes me, once, I, it struck I, six times. I don't yeah. know why that was my path. I just say thank you. I mean, I, yeah. I don't know why. Well, I think so talent happy. has a lot to do with it yes. as well. You're being incredibly humble. Well, you're kind, but there are many, many talented people who do a lot of pilots yeah. that never turn to shows or shows that never go. I mean, I've done a few shows that went six episodes or a year. So to get the yeah. shows that are long running and really impact people is just lightning in a bottle. It's just yeah. luck. And then you chose to step away from Hollywood altogether. You just said, I'm all in and that's it. Why did you decide to do that? Well, um, I, I had a baby. Ah, <laughs> really. Ethan, those things. I had a baby. Not that really matters. I had my son and I still did a couple years of um, According to Jim. And then, you know, I didn't want to work out of town. I didn't want to work full time. So I wanted to work in this tiny little narrow window so it just that much wasn't available i did a guest spot on two and a half men for five years which was great so awesome. i didn't yeah. want to work full time because sure. i liked it but guess what now you're back <laughs> exactly. i know now you I'm took back. on this role um you're playing an archaeologist why was this the time why was this the role you know, it's my, I said to my son, he and I were watching a show about a celebrity chef, and she said, I had my, my child on a Thursday, and I went back to work on Tuesday. And I said, see, sweetie, that's what I did. I had you on a Friday, and nine years later, I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the exact same thing. Exactly. Um, it's just timing. You know, he's getting more independent, and I'm finding myself sort of lurking around his play date saying, what are you guys doing? Oh, you guys doing? Stop. So I think it's time. I miss working, and I think he's oh, closing no. the door on me quite Enough. a bit. So Mom, it's time I'll for me to get something of my own. The helicopter mom. I'm lurking a bit. Oh boy, yeah, you're really stalking. <laughs> so your character, I'm a feeling, is an archaeologist yes. professor and um, she's based on a real person. Well, Dana Cameron wrote a series of books um, about Emma Fielding who's an archaeologist and Dana Cameron is an archaeology professor and an archaeologist. So there's a lot of real life archaeology in the books which makes them so much fun and so much fun to play. Did you learn anything? I Did think I, I think I learned a lot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. We definitely learned how to flirt. Your character yeah. did. We have a <laughs> clip from the movie where your character is flirting with um. Well, she's actually, I guess, dusting and flirting at the same time <laughs> with James Tupper, who plays an FBI agent, and he mm -hmm. is investigating agent James Cooper a murder. Yes. Take a look. So, how do you end up in the antiquities division? I got shot. Just chasing the bad guy. Must have been hard on your family. It was hard on my son. But you know, we'd grown apart during the divorce I had with his mom. So the silver lining to taking a bullet was uh, it brought us back together. You know, he's at college now. I see him a lot. So this assignment is sort of like being put out to pasture. <laughs> That's not the metaphor that I would use no. <laughs> Sorry. I gotta admit though, I, I wasn't thrilled at first. But it sure beats a desk job. Uh, and now? No, I'm digging it. Oh, you did not just say that. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a long afternoon. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. I'm digging it. So, oh, wow. <laughs> That's wow. a joke that Mark usually uses. Wow. Yeah, I think the writers are taking note. They watch the show. You're digging a hole is what you're yeah. doing. Yeah, wow. Oh, wait. So, look, um, you, I know that you love TV mysteries quite a bit. I do. Mysteries in I general. Have. Dumpster diving aside, right. you know what's close. Angela Lansbury solved many of cases here. 
Uh, really? Yeah, right the here? Set, the set, well, not here on the, the if you look at right, right up the right up the right up the hill here is uh, Cabot Cove, the set yes, where yes, she yes, solved wow. all of these things. Well, I understand you're a big fan of TV mysteries. I love those. I loved Heart to Heart. I love the old Columbos and the old McMillan and Weiss. And I used to think, wouldn't it be great if they'd bring this back where you did like three TV movies a year? I thought that. And then Hallmark did it. Did, Literally see, answered see? my prayers. You got, Literally that's what we prayers. do. We make dreams come true here. You do. We really you do. You should have been thinking Crazy. lottery numbers and stuff. <laughs> that would have helped. You probably but I was busy well. in the dumpster. It's, I was very busy. <laughs> then again, you did hit a jackpot doing that sort of thing. You uh, did. And like you said earlier, you learned more than just flirting on set. You had a real archaeologist to teach you what to do to make so sure you knew what was stupid. happening. Exactly. We wanted to look like we knew what we were doing. And do you? I hope I did. <laughs> well, we're going to put you to the test right yep. now because oh, we're going to have you help us excavate and oh, do a little, little mini me. dig. Oh. Oh. So you let us know. You teach us a few things and let us know if we're doing it right. Okay. You ready? Okay, so Great. Let's, okay. let's say there, whether it's a crime or we're just looking for some dinosaur okay. bones here. Uh, where do, how do you begin... So Excavate. we could be looking for anything. We could be looking for evidence of a colony. We could be looking for bones. We don't know what we're looking for. So you, you, what you do is an inch at a time you go through. And I was surprised because I thought they would do it like this. And yeah, right. And you go, no, you just did it. It was oh, pretty boy. rough, actually. And so they the take a lot layer, off the top. Oh, we're already you fine. You take things. it. And what then, right. and then when you get close, oh. wait. What do we? And then when you get close, then you take this, and you think you see something, maybe. Yeah, over and then, then you, you brush, brush it. Brush it very gently. You brush it, and what did you find? Well, what? clearly this oh, is something old. Oh my goodness! Old. And then okay. when you've exposed oh. it all the way, then we do we need to. gloves to take them out? What? Yeah, you have gloves. We don't have them, but I don't. We I, don't. And okay, then you just, very you carefully. carefully should Take we? We might out. have to actually describe <gasps> oh to gosh. our viewers this find, this relic. It's what called a VHS tape. <laughs> and where would this go? It's very. What would they use this in for? In a VCR. <laughs> really? Yes. Yes. There's something Long. inside. Ah! Well, listen. This is amazing. I didn't know there were any of these left. Uh, I didn't no. know there were any of these left. And in the event you do have a VCR, yeah, you called yes, it. Yes, yes. You exactly can take it. this with you, <gasps> and you oh, can see it. Oh my gosh! This one, you may Yay. it may take you another 200 years to actually uncover a VCR, but when you do find one, let us know. It may be in here. It could be. In here. <laughs> be sure to catch Courtney in Sight Unseen and Emma Fielding Mysteries this Sunday at 9, 8 Central on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.